I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm dying to live. Good morning, buddy Google. Welcome back to the channel. You did say I was going to do something stupid at the start of every video. I don't want you to. Do you guys want me to? Oh yeah, comment below. If you enjoyed Johnny's <laughs> dumb introduction, comment below and let me know. If you like him, we'll allow him. Uh, Johnny, what are we checking out today? This is your band. Yeah, well it's not my band. No, you own them. I own them, yes. Uh, give me all of your monies. Uh, yeah, a band I've liked for a long, 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 long time. Actually, since they started Seven Dust. And uh, the new track here is Dying to Live. Um, I've been a big fan of these guys for ages. Um, just a sort of hard rock alternative metal band. They were lumped in the new metal scene for a while, but I don't really think they're like that. I've never listened to them. Yeah, this will be interesting because I know for a fact that this vocal style, the more sort of deeper, manlier vocal style, is not your preferred vocal style. <laughs> I like them feminine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to jump in and check it out. Uh, make sure to comment below let us know what you think of the song. Mm. Headphones on, JBL Club on. Boom, 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 boom. You don't need to do the sound effects. We can oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. In fact, you know what? We'll leave these dumb sound effects. Oh, shit. Headphones on. A three, a two. Ooh. Ominous. Ominous. Unhealthy. Is this going to be one of those clips where there's so much going on that you I'm in really like... trouble following it so far, but I'm enjoying the whoa whoa in the background. I love the whoa. But, uh, and also that opening riff guitar line stuff was sick, but I'm not with the film yet. <laughs> It's got to be like red jelly babies in there. Mm, that's actually the briefcase from Pop Fiction. Ah, oh, is it? No. Shit, he does. Well, not now he doesn't. Yeah, it's <laughs> blurred out. Spotted line now. Wow. on the guitars is massive. They yeah, sound so, so big. big. 100%. Yeah. You mean you're Yeah. 
Look. Wow. I don't know what just happened in the film clip. It's like they did something bad and then they were fighting over it and then... But then was that the... It all, was it all a dream? Also, were they in the band? No. Oh, those are actors? Yeah. What does the band look like? Um, Can you describe a whole band? They're actually, you know what? They're actually all like... Except for the drummer, they're all like big masculine dudes. The singer they sound is like big masculine dudes. African American dude. And you know what? That's one of the things that you can hear in his voice. Mm. Um, like yeah, African, that like African American sound. Voice, voices are just. I don't know, this is sound cliche, really like soulful and emotive. Yeah, the style well, about. Particularly, you don't hear too many of them in metal. Yeah. Um, but that's. I think that did have a very Howard esque, like. Yeah, Howard Jones from Killswitch Engage, yeah. if you don't know. Uh, I liked that. Cool. I thought that was really cool guitar lines. I actually liked the vocals. I really liked the harmonizing behind it. The big woes. As I said, I love a woe. He does love a woe. Uh, cool guitar lines. Really great production. Heavy. It was a super confusing film clip and it didn't take away from the music for me. Oh, it didn't? No. I thought it was going to because I was watching it trying to like figure out. Well, I'm saying that's how much the music stood out for me. Oh, I actually really cool. liked it because that, I didn't like the film clip to be honest. Um, yeah, like I've, I think that that's the thing that drew me to them from the get-go is his voice. It's so powerful. But the other cool thing about them is um, everyone in the band can sing. So oh, all of those yeah. vocals that you hear, like it's hard to tell because the, th the two guitarists and him have a similar vocal. Um, the drummer does the screams. The bass player does the big screams yeah. in those songs. And hearing them live do that is so rad because yeah, their voices really cool. work good. Um, their drummer is one of my favourite drummers. He just puts really cool, unorthodox, like fancy little like double kick flares. And to be honest, I didn't notice the drumming that much in that song. Yes, yeah, focusing on the guitars and yeah, it was a lot. Yeah, that's um, a lot. You know what? As well, tell me, Joey, <laughs> what as well? I like the fact that like a lot of their riffs just sound like breakdowns. Yeah, they really do. They're really yeah, really riff. that little bit. Yeah, is actually sick. I don't know what it was, but yeah, <laughs> that's it was a dying cat. That's what he's doing. It was the lion. Oh god, he did look like a lion, did yeah, he? Yeah, he did, as soon as I saw it. I couldn't be, and, and at the end when the dude died and he was screaming, all I could hear was, rah, one day Simba, all of this will be I feel like Alex the Lion from uh, oh, Madagascar. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> Please, McGee, put a picture of Alex right here. Yeah, you know what? I don't know if you can find it. <laughs> cool. I'll uh, we'll see you guys next time.